a servant who knew the master's will and did not make preparation or accord, act according with his will will be beaten severely. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning. Father. Some questions we need to revisit again and again since they are important. One of the question is this. Any one of us here well, while growing up have, uh, has ever been beaten or spanked in your life? Spanked. <laughs> We're in the same boat. <laughs> right now we don't we don't do it anymore, do we? Don't we? We don't do it anymore. Okay, good for you, Charlotte. Spare the rod. No wonder. There's some things that we cannot accept. Uh, when adult doing something, we cannot accept it. We put them in prison huh, and furnish them, but we accept it now. Children, wonder wandering around and. You know, doing all kinds of crimes and, and sins like fornication, adultery. We cannot accept, we, you know, and then do a lot of murder, we put them in prison. But our children growing up in school, in a public school, they teach our children to do these things, crimes and sins, isn't it? I, I studied in Canada and I was in eighth grade in Canada. They already taught me about you know the birds and the bees and really <laughs> movies showing us already and the children would come out and act it out mm -hmm. very young very young 13 14 15 and we adult we adult we do that we punish them, but children it's okay so we need to rethink about our education and uh, I asked the question, uh, have you been uh, spanked? Well, I, I know what it means, you know, I felt, I still feel, I still feel the spanking. <laughs> um, but imagine this, this is, this is quite uh, interesting. Suppose we apply literally what Jesus said in today's Gospel to our life, what's going to happen? We tend to think Jesus Christ is merciful, second part merciful, but let, here, listen to him again. The servant who knew, knew his master will, master's will and did not make preparations nor act according to his will or with his will shall be beaten severely. Mm -hmm. This is a word from, from, from Jesus' mouth. We know his will and we don't act it out or we, we do not make a preparation. Make preparation and act it out. we be beaten severely. And listen to these. Those who are, we think uh, we know ignorant people, the servant who was ignorant of his master's will, but acted in a way deserving a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. So those who are ignorant also be beaten. <laughs> okay, so I don't want you to be beaten lightly. So that's why I inform you, so you no longer, we no longer ignorant, but we know, and after we know, we have to prepare. And after preparing, we have to act it out. So what is the, first we acknowledge that we, some of us, or many of us are ignorant, or perhaps we are intentional, intentional ignorance, you know? We just decided on purpose to be ignorant. We don't want to know, we don't have nothing to do with me, the things that's going on around the country. The day that America told the truth, the truth is that we're no longer living in this Christian world, or post-Christian world, or post-modern world. Again, we are living in a post-truth world. Isn't it? Post-truth world. You go to the hospital, I work in the hospital as a chaplain, and every day, I told you in 20, uh, some 24 years ago, and uh, I was assigned to the nursery every day. I get like uh, from 24 to 30 babies. Mm -hmm. And you saw every day for months and months, and you visit the mother with child. And how is the child? How is the child? How are you? How is the child? And then suddenly, when they're pregnant, you call them babies. And how's the baby? And then one day, you do not call it a baby anymore. You call it an it. So it, they were baby before, and then they decided. No longer baby, so they can terminate. Like one day is a baby, the other day an it. So we go through the procedure. Is that a lie? Are we telling a lie to ourselves? In the hospital, 
You know, even the doctors you know, and the nurses, they, they were talking to the baby. When the, the mother is carrying the child, and then one day they decided, and so we are not talking about baby, but it's an it. The day America told the truth. So we have to tell the truth. We know the truth, but we want to dismiss it or ignore it and even deceive ourselves again and again and nobody speaks out. Who's going to speak out? Mm -hmm. Now, if I don't speak out, and this is the Master's will, he, he was talking about the faithful and prudent steward. If I do not speak out, then what happened to me? I got severely beaten. So I'd rather have you severely beaten than me. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we know we do it together. We are faithful uh, and prudent steward. Prudent because we, we, we know, we study, we learn, and faithful, we carry out the will of God. I don't want anybody to get beaten. So well, let's do this. And so, and the question is this, when do you prepare? When do you prepare? Yeah, we, and, uh, you, we prepare always. The word for preparation is now. The time is now. We prepare our body, we prepare our mind, and we prepare our heart. Prepare our body, exercise, because we are at war. Truly, we are at war. Three enemies never stop fighting against us and attack us until we die. Uh, rob us, destroy us, or slaughter us, and destroy us completely. <coughs> the world, the flesh, and the devil. This is a Catholic teaching. Why don't we return to that? This is the truth, and we don't teach it, and that's why our people are ignorant, or we become intentionally ignorant. We have to prepare our body. Get into war against our own flesh, and then the mind, the mind, if we deceive ourselves, tell the truth, prepare the mind with the truth, and then the heart, love, love means I will the good, uh, to my enemy, for I'm my enemies, I will the good, the moment you stop willing the good, the moment you become indifferent, will the good to your baby, to your grandchildren, will the good for your family, will the good for yourself, will it, that is how the heart works. Love, willing the good for everyone and for everything, especially for yourself. Prepare now. And uh, if you, uh, maybe some of us here, John, you are, and some of us were uh, at war before, and we know there's a principle at war, for war, that there, there are four principles. Three quick and one slow. That is, that is what my father taught me when I was young. When you fight a war, three quick and one slow. Uh, you saw the, uh, the senior George Bush did this. When you get into a war, okay, you go there and you strike immediately. And then you destroy the enemy right away and you throw right away. You don't wait. And they don't know what's going on. But those are the three quick things. The one slow thing is preparation. You plan and plan and plan for years and years. But when you strike, just like a serpent, Jesus said, lower yourself down like a serpent, and it waited and waited. When it strikes really quick, and you withdraw. This is what we need to do. And this is the word from the word of God. And so prepare now. Prepare now. So we can come into this Eucharistic table and worship Him, and He is really preparing us now for eternity.